Hello and welcome everybody to Tower Tactics Liberation, another uh, roguelike deck builder tower defense game. Uh, definitely has a lot of different influence. I've, when I, I was watching other people play this, this is my first time playing it, so I'm kind of flying a little bit blind here, but I definitely see inspiration taken from games like FTL, Slay the Spire, uh, shoot, any other deck builder games I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, uh, anyways, it is a it, it's a roguelike deck builder tower defense game. Progress through the game, make progress, lose, restart, make more progress until eventually you beat the game. And I'm super excited to be bringing this to you. This game was recommended by one of my lovely Discord members, um, Aladum. Uh, and let that be a shameless plug for our Discord down in the description below. If you have any games recommendations, I got a channel set up there just for that. And who knows, your suggestion could be my next series. With that, let's play. All right, looks like this is your first time playing. Would you like to play a short tutorial? You can always play it again. Sure, let's play a tutorial just so I am not completely boned. The tutorial. Most important thing you need to know no combat. You'll have to eliminate several waves of enemies or trusty towers and spells. Fantastic! Bump up the music here a little bit. Music's got a great beat to it. I'm, I'm definitely digging it. So, uh, place a mouse over any cards in your hand. Spells have powerful single-use effects. Oh, wait, wrong button. Spells have powerful single-use effects, and towers fight for the whole... I don't care. Towers fight for the whole battle. The number in the corner indicates its mana cost. This is your mana. You gain two, count them, two each wave. The more mana you have, the more you gain. This is called overload. Let's place towers. Drag a tower from your hand onto the battlefield. The yellow tiles slightly increase power. So, uh, base amount of mana each round is two. Overload. You gain one mana for each four mana you have at the end of your turn, up to a maximum of one. Interesting. Uh, so let's grab an archer. Uh, you can reposition towers by dragging them to available slots on the battlefield. As long as there is no active wave of enemies, you can sell place towers. So this cost me one to place down. Oh, Okay. Oh, I can sell it back to my hand, but then I lose the card. Interesting. Okay. Um, objective powers and start the next one. So I have a spell here. Has a little radius. Um, another thing that I noticed um, is that if there's no enemies in range of your towers, the game speeds up until they get to your towers, and then it slows back down. It, it definitely optimizes your... Uh, it, it definitely optimizes playtime. By gathering three towers of the same level and type on the battlefield, they combine them to level up and greatly and greatly increasing their power. So the sum of the of the whole is greater than that of the parts is what I'm kind of guessing is happening here. Uh, next wave. So it's got an automatic fast forward, which I absolutely love that it does. Wow. A little fast forward. I like that. And then I can up the game speed as well over here. Uh, let's do a... I don't know, I kind of like the Archer Towers. They seem pretty good. But this is just a tutorial anyways. We are flying a little bit blind. We are flying a little bit blind still. Great, you're ready to bat. You're, you're ready to play. Good luck in the battles to come. Thank you. You know, that's really nice when somebody wishes me luck. Much appreciated, friend. So, oh, uh, my stats, maximum health. Health regeneration, is that... I assume that's at the end of a round? I don't know. Uh, crystals, crystal multiplier, luck. What's luck? Starting mana, armor penetration, magic penetration, range multiplier, and attack multiplier. Oh, click here to... for deck. Here, I'm clicking here, but nothing's... I get. So, uh... Leading Legacy. So I just got a basic bomber, a fireball, a thunder spell. 
It's the only deck I can select, so let's just hit play and get right into it. A liberation. The first Salkoth have arrived in our sector. Our quest for liberation is just about to begin. However, first we have to decide upon how we're going to prepare. Ooh. The Luxstat. Uh, the Luxstat... Oh, wait. Uh, luck improves events and increases the power of some towers, frequency of critical hits, and the probability of getting relics in normal combats, and the appearance of rare relics. So... I could lose crystals, which I think is my currency, and gain two max health. Or I could just gain 30 crystals. I'm not willing, really willing to lose luck right now. And I don't know this game well enough to remove a deck from my hand, so I'm just going to gain 30 crystals and hit continue. Uh, so I guess here's... This is why I'm, I'm saying this game reminds me a lot of FTL, because we have this whole map we got to use or these different routes that we can take before we ultimately get to the boss. So it's about finding the path that's going to get you the most amount of stuff. That's an elite, that's an elite, that's an elite. I don't know what rest sites do, but we might find out. Oh, I could do a rest site and then go to this enemy. Let's do a rest site. Oh, okay. So I can restore health or I can upgrade a random stat. And we upgraded plus three luck, which gave us which gives us a one percent critical strike chance. Okay. Uh let's do a I'm gonna do this enemy, this enemy, and then the shop. Let's just place down a, oh, a basic tower. And another thing that we can do is we can move them here, so. This is, uh, so if I place this tower here, I do 8 attack damage and attack with uh, 1.87 speed with 128 range. You can see that my range and my attack stat went down. So we do get, um, so spells are just one-time use things. Spells, armor, or spells are just one-time use things, as far as I can tell. Um, and it's best to just use them because I think you, well, maybe you don't draw in between. I'm still learning about, I'm still learning about this game. As I said, I was just introduced to this game, um, earlier today by one of my subscribers and Discord uh, members. Let's do a big tower and... But here's where it gets interesting. Like, do I save to get more mana in the long run? Or do I spend? Because, you know, more mana in the long run doesn't mean jack shit if you're dead. All right, I'm just going to spend it. A cloaked. Target cannot be... So that was a cloaked enemy. Um, I saw that in another playthrough. Uh, basically, they won't take damage until... They've been damaged, so you gotta kinda save a spell for those guys. Take some crystals and add a card into my deck. Roshan Bolt. Looks like it does 10 damage. Get stronger the more spells are cast this combat. 100% spell, 100 spells max. I am assuming a combat is um, a location like we just did. Reduces enemies' resistance. Kind of neat. Or Ballista, which just deals damage. I'm going to grab this Bolt. And we're going to do another enemy here. Upper level. So again, I am kind of encouraged here to spend my spells. I am just going to spend a spell here. All right, let's try this guy out. I'm going to put you... So I cast one spell this combat. All right, so it's not the way... So it, as I suspected, it's the... Uh, it, it is the whole combat. So if I cast a spell... 
How does it figure its damage? Two spells. Don't see how it's getting stronger, but... Oh, whatever. Ooh. That looks tough. Okay, this guy was not a threat at all. Not so bad. Am at four mana. Next round, I'll earn three mana. So I will hold off on spending any money this way. Might have to use a fireball. Nope. So now we gain three mana. Now I can be a little bit more reckless with my uh, funds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine all these towers to make the super basic archer. Super basic archer. We have a bomb. Uh, fires a weak version of the bomb. The bomb deals damage in an area. Sure. And we'll just have a stun ready just in case. Problem. Oh, I can now get an upgraded one of these. 30 damage. I should also just on that uh, other ballista. So far, I really like this game. The music's really good. The play is pretty, and we're already done with the level. Combat's pretty quick, which I like. So I have a guardian angel. Harder. Plus one less each damage taken this combat. Ooh. That. Uh, reduces the level of enemies if they are level one, destroys them. Interesting. Cryptic Command. Stun all enemies for three seconds at the beginning of the next round. Draw two cards, restore one health. That seems really expensive, and so does that. These all seem kind of bad. I'm, I am just going to skip the reward. And let's go to the shop. So I've got 105. Oh, these are like your relics. Recover one life when visiting event. Bad. Uh, rest sites offer greater rewards. Diamond hands. You can prevent your cards from discarding. If you do, don't draw the next round. Interesting. Ooh, what's this? Great. Okay, let's focus. Fires a laser that instantly destroys enemies below a certain percentage of health. Kind of neat. I think I'm going to grab the shot. And I'm going to see what this does. Convert a random basic card into its non-basic version. What happened? Did it get upgraded? I don't know what just happened. Like, How did that affect me? a basic card into its... Did I just waste money? I thought I just wasted some money. Alright, let's go. Shotgun. Oh, no, I didn't mean to start. Whoa. Shotgun's pretty good. I'm going to place another one of those. Damn. Oh, the shotgun pierces, so... Okay, I get it now. And now I have an option to just summon a super archer. Or a super basic archer. Did I... Did the... Sh the shotgun, like, do... What did that upgrade basic random card do? Oh, let's see what the super shotgun looks like. That looks so manly! Oh yeah, I'll just place this because it is the last round. But I'm just because, again, it's the last round. Oh wait, it's not the last round, but it almost is. Uh, let's just kind of place all this down. Next wave. Get a stun ready just in case these guys are actually hard.
and done. Yeah, okay, crystals, let's add a card to our deck. I could add another one of these. Epic Extractor restores one spell mana at the end of each turn. What's spell mana? Oh. It does not recharge between rounds. It can only be on spells, not enchantments. So I can use I can only use a limited amount of spells then. But those stuns cost nothing, so I think I can still use those. So with that deals with this would be pretty good. Uh, let's do a enemy here. Starting off with the start with the shotgun. I will hold off on the shotgun. Round one done, pretty easy, pretty basic. Got. Oh, it upgraded my bomber, so I had the basic bomber, now I have the actual bomber. So what is this? Do. So the bomber, uh, 21 damage, pierces armor. Basic bomber, 12 damage, does not pierce armor. Okay, so that's what that card upgraded. That could have been a little bit more clear, in my opinion. But I, I guess it's fine. We, f we got there in the end. Whoa. Whoa! Bruh. Dude. And I'll save up some of my manas. Oh, I... Oh, wait. I'm facing this stun card, I guess. A uh, basic shotgun. If this is shooting down a straight line like that, it can hit multiple enemies, so... Yeah, so like this. It can pierce multiple. Maybe it can't pierce. I thought it said it could pierce! Let's try out Giant's Bane. Looks like it's got a pretty good attack stat. Wow. Uh, last round, another shotgun. I want to see what this fireball does. That did a pretty decent chunk of damage. Dude, I'm loving this game. This is so awesome. A spell to draw five cards. Ooh, life absorbers. So if I'm doing kind of bad on life, okay. When place, draw a card and lose one crystal. At level three, draw one more card. Those are kind of... I don't see the point of those yet. This is specializing in magic res. I think I'm going to do this elite fight because I have... Wow. Okay, this suddenly got interesting. Long corridors like this. And okay, that's fine. Give me, give me the bomber, because that's AoE. Actually, no, put it here. And then just hold on. Oh. All right. But so far, get Giant Spain. Give me shotgun, perhaps? You get be ready with a thunder just in case this all goes sideways. Alright, not too bad. So I'm gonna start to place a one of these boys down here just to clean up anything that's left over. I am going to stun him there. I might be get him. All right, I took three damage there, but that's not so bad. Uh, that's not terrible. 
I can live with taking a little bit of damage. Stun card's definitely coming in handy here. Let's upgrade to the more advanced archer. Armor. Anything else here shred armor? The shotgun shreds armor. I have no spells, so I am kind of on my own for that. Oh, that tower disables other tower, or that enemy disables other towers. Forgot about him. Still, re still was able to clean it. Put another giant's bane here, and I'm gonna hold on to my stun card. That guy can die in a hole, preferably. Ooh, perfect. Um, mass upgrade the giant's bane there. Okay, not so bad. Still holding on to my stun here. I just wanted to make sure that he died. Played four spells. Super shotgun? Super shotgun. Good, not a problem. Just on you guys, make sure. Awesome, we're doing pretty good. Um, let's add a card to my deck here. Spike throw. Or oh, that seems bad. Try the spike thrower. It's free after all. Reduce the reduce by thirty percent enemy regeneration. X with green. So let's do one more enemy, and then we'll do the boss. I, I really like this game, man. This is such a neat game. What do you do? You just, like, throw spikes on the ground? Maybe that's what you do. That's probably what it does. Like throw. Another spike thrower. I'll save up my pennies or my manas. Cool. Actually, did pretty good work there. Now I feel like I can be a lot more reckless with my expenditures. Now that I've got this uh, overflow. Bring me a. Shotgun tower. Not even an issue. Uh, bring me the... Bummer. Or what the hell. Mana. Next turn. A archer back there. But it's definitely worthwhile just spending a little bit less on the first couple waves, because they won't be as hard. So then I can be even more reckless on later waves. Cycler the Pact. Obtain two mana. Invoke an elite fire. Oh, so enemies will be more elite. I'm going to take this EMP grenade because I've seen that used and it's kind of cool. So what am I dealing with here? 10% more health. Okay. I might not have a choice. I might just have to take the shotgun and then get ready to stun enemies. 
I say might not have a choice to take the shotgun, but... Dude, this shotgun is awesome. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it without spending any more money. But be ready with a spell here. Egg. Give me a spike thrower. Here. And a EMP grenade about... Because I want enemies. There's a running theory right now that the EMP grenade has diminishing returns. Sure, it can stun an enemy, but eventually they'll gain a resistance to stun. So I want this here so that way it's stunning enemies as they're in this basic archer range. That does basically nothing. Yeah, look at that. Absolute pro. Seven. Archer and give me Giant's Bane. Ooh, that guy's got a lot of health. Be ready with a stun for him, man. Although my EMP dude is just gonna pick him off like a boss. Absolute pro. I'm gonna do a shotgun up here just to get some initial damage off. Especially on the juggernaut there, dear god. Although that EMP grenade, man, just coming in absolute clutch. Very nice. Super shotgun and super archer. And then double thunder. I think I'll just stun these guys to use up spells. That way, if I ever spawn those other towers that uh, power up off the spells, we're golden. and bomber. That stun is beautiful. Like throw, because again, cost me nothing. I would like another EMP grenade up here. And I will start spawning in this. Again, I'm trying to maintain that uh, at least four mana to get the extra mana off. Oh, I, I didn't know I could, like, mouse over and see its health. That's pretty handy to know. Let's see here. So 490. 495. It looks like it increased its attack speed a bunch. How much damage does this do if I put it up here? Not much more. That's fine. Spells if I cast, I cast two spells. Must improve its mana penet or its penetration. Wait, I'm gonna place this bomber here to place the bomb. So right now I'm doing about 66 penetration. Yeah, so it's upped it to like a 99 or a 0.99% penet magic penetration. Definitely worthwhile just placing it. Uh, EMP launcher, yes please. Combine to make a super EMP launcher. Sure, a couple of arrows never hurt anybody other than... Next wave. Speedy boy, what's your shtick? On death, disable the four nearest towers for a brief period of time. That's not good. But also fine, because EMP stun is awesome. Oh, yes. Last giant Spain. I was waiting for that. And how many bombers do I have down? Drop another bomber down. Infantry. Okay, just generic. Not even a problem. I definitely like that building three of the towers... Uh, makes the towers more powerful. It definitely encourages you to keep a thinner deck.
spike thrower. And I think this is another basic archer. Nice. That's another level two basic archer. If I get a third one, I think these all merge into like a super archer. Some kind. EMP grenadier. Because why not? Ooh, this enemy disables a tower while it's alive. It's weak to spells. Finish him off. You can right-click to deactivate a tower to pay two mana. Okay. Juggernaut. This one, the hijacker. Thought I was going to disable some towers. Huh. I have a... Basic Archer and a Bomber. That's enough for a big Bomber and then a... Dude, I love this game. It's so good! Especially that stun guy. Good lord, he is awesome. And then this is the final wave. Power of the bolts. Got some stuns. I'm gonna throw down the basic bomber just cuz. Let's go! EMP bomb. Awesome! Me two crystals, add a card to my deck. Uh, another shotgun? Yeah, the shotguns are pretty awesome. And obtain a trinket. You can reroll the cards in your hand for one mana. Ooh. Draw one more card each turn, lose six luck. Ooh. Powers attack 12% faster, draw one less card each turn. All have little negatives to them. Yeah, the Giant's Bane definitely do it. Uh, let's do the Berserkers. That's going to give me 18%. That give me a total of 8 max speed. Uh, let's go to the next sector here. Right, sector 2. Let's try and get to this boss. Uh, what path do I want to take? I think I want to go here to the event, to the shop. Right, maybe? We'll start by going down this way. Hey, we've seen this before. Guys have only 20, not a problem. Ooh, he crit. A shotgun. Shotgun's definitely gonna come in clutch here. Awesome. Uh throw down a spike tower just to throw down a spike tower. And a basic archer. Okay, that enemy took a little bit more of a beating than I am comfortable with it taking a beating. I will take the Giant's Bane. And the EMP. I know I'm spending a lot more of my mana than I probably should be, but... The Giant's Bane ignores all resistances. Every third shot deals a percentage of the enemy's total health as true damage. It's pretty good. that. So much stun. These are two really good spots for that. A basic archer so that I can bring in the more powerful archer and then I'm not going to spend any money. American infantry do really good work. So now, if I only spend one mana... Oh, okay, my towers are too expensive. I'm just going to hold off on... Oh, okay. That's concerning. Giant Spain should be doing pretty good work here, actually. All right, perfect. Oh, that's it. 
what do I got here? Inflict random effects to enemies nearby. Uh, the strength of this effect scales with luck. My luck is only three. Uh, creates mana at the end of each round. Costs two more mana for each extractor you have. I'm going to skip the rewards on this. I'm going to take this event. You're approached by a wormhole. It was the first wormhole created by mankind. It is said that using it changes you forever. Transform all the cards in your deck into random cards. I'm a pass on that. And let's go to a shop. Uh, one less mana each round doesn't back stuns enemies. That's kind of cool. Ooh, let's see here. These are my relics. Um, after getting the first level three tower, draw one more card each round. It takes a while to get to level three. I don't think our rounds are long enough yet. Powers just gain 10 range and a little more fire rate. Reduce enemy tenacity by 25%, making them more vulnerable to stuns and slow. I'm going to take this one, and then I'm going to convert a random non-basic random basic card into its non-basic version. Which one did it bring up? Bomber shot. Uh, it looked like it converted an archer. Nice. <laughs> um, shop, I guess. Enemy. Oof. Shitty first draw here. Uh, basic. Starting to notice that there isn't that much of a variety in sp in uh, map types right now. Get me an archer. All right, these guys could be problem problematic. Giant's Bane. But I need to save. I'm sorry, I'm going with just the basic archer. That guy might be a problem, though. Or we could be just fine. So I will grab the spike thrower just cut, yes. And now I'm just gonna keep saving. Nothing here looks terrifying. Okay, now I'm getting plus three mana turn. Now I can afford to be a little bit more reckless. Oh wait, these guys. Um, how do I deal with you? I need to wait for you to overlap. Perfect. Weren't even able to get a single one of them. Damn. That's two health each. Shotgun. Shotgun. Uh, moves faster. Oh, that's going to hurt. That one's going to leave a mark. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, the basic tower is... Okay. Powers are different. I need a Giant's Bane. Real bad. Now we're suddenly fine again. Ooh, Archer. Gets much stronger. Powers when leveling up. Sounds kind of awesome. A little too expensive for me. Let's grab an elite. Heck it. If we're going to go out, let's go out in style. Giant Spain. So the Archer, 9, 20, basic Archer, 7. So the Archer is just going to be better in every way. So we should just that drop a spike tower down. Try and save up some mana. Give me other archer, and we're gonna done. MP. 
This is just outside of the range of these towers, so we should... God. Why is this boy so healthy? Oh, um, shotgun. I can sell you back for... grab the bomber, but I'm going to feel really bad about it. It's a really hard balance of trying to gain enough mana to gain bonus mana and just spending all of your money wildly on a whim. Archer, archer, so if I do that, I at least get super archer. Oh, did he EM? Oh, that shit just need to eat us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, at least I have the Giant's Bane there to cover my ass. Ooh, and now I got a spell, so I feel really comfy now. spend a single on an EMP launcher, and then after that, we're gaining bonus man. So I can be a little bit less frugal with my, uh, with this currency here. That boy's tanky. Got 90 armor. Uh, spike thrower for free. Sure, the ion thing for very little. Stick around a second here. We're not quite done with you yet. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. One more shot. Wow. Shotgun. And another bomber. Yeah, this, uh, that stun, that EMP Grenadier is a top-tier, uh, tower. Giant's Bane to upgrade our existing one, and then a shotgun. I don't think this is the last round, so I still kind of got to be careful with my monies. But it, it doesn't really seem... So this is it. After this, this is the last round. So, uh, spend all my money, spend all my money, hold on to my stun here for the last wave, get everybody in like a big old group stun there. Easy, piece of cake. Uh, Arcane Resonator asked copies of the last non-enchanted, uh, not interested in that. Generates more mana? I'm in three random non-basic towers. I'm gonna get that one. All towers can now target cloaked enemies? Hell yeah! Go to a rest site here. And I'm gonna take the extra health. Want an enemy? No, I think I'm just gonna go right to the boss. Why is the boss wave this level? I'm about to let enemy through. That's Sam. I gotta let this first enemy through. I better not. At least I got one. They do have a little bit of armor. Uh, give me the archer. On to the rest. There goes my only spell mana, so. Kind of on my own now. Uh, I will throw the extractor here, I guess. Next. Those enemies aren't so bad. 
there seems to be a lot of them. So I'm going to let through... I don't know how much these are going to be. One, one and one. But I'm now getting bonus mana from here, so... A little bit frugal here at the beginning to hopefully help out in the long term. Oh, the stun got us. Damn it. That's not good. Those guys, I think, deal a lot of damage. They're level two enemies. Does that mean... Okay. That's not good. Bombers up here and just right. Hank. That appropriate. He's a level three enemy, so this guy's basically just gonna wipe us out. Ah. You unlocked the sanctuary. You can now use offerings to increase your power. Um, you've unlocked a new deck. Equip it in the campaign. Astral deck. What did you now do? Sanctuary. Hover here for an explanation of sanctuary. This is the sanctuary. Here you can equip your offerings to power. You can equip offerings by dragging them to your unlocked offering slot. Mythical offerings should be placed in the central slot. Oh, there must be different tiers. This is your level. Uh, as it, it increases as you play and unlocks new decks and upgrades. Very similar to Slay the Spire. Uh, this is your arsenal dust. When it With it, you can create new offerings. Clicking on it opens the creation menu. Oh, interesting. Armor, penetration, luck of oh, different, uh, different tiers. So if I click and drag this over here, I just now have plus 1% range multiple. That doesn't seem very good. What do I have for decks? The Wandering Colossus. Interesting. Well, I believe that is all the time we have for today. Uh, when we come back next time, uh, give her another shot. I'm, I'm in love with this game, and I might even do some of my own playtime outside of uh, out, outside of uh, recording. But uh, as the usual, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.